Before cutting the fabric, you need to fold it in half lengthwise so that the two selvages meet. The right sides of the fabric should be together. If you're not sure how to do this, be sure to check out course 1 for more information. Then put the side of the front piece of the shirt that says fold on that fold line. Put the weights on the pattern to ensure the pattern stays in place. Put the back piece of the shirt next to the front piece and the sleeve and strap on top, aligning the grain line with the fold line of the fabric. Now we're going to cut around the pattern. I always use electric scissors. Use regular scissors to make half a centimeter cuts at the notches on the sleeve pattern for future identification. First, take the front pieces and place them on the back piece, making sure the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Pin the sides and the shoulders of the shirt together, stitch them together with a seam allowance of 1 cm and finish them with an overlock stitch. If you are not familiar with how to sew stitches, check out course 1 and 2 for more details. Finish the neckline with bias tape. If you are unfamiliar with the use of bias tape, check out course 2. Finish the middle edges of the shirt with an overlock stitch. Then pin and sew the finished edges together, but leave a gap of 12 cm at the top of the shirt. Indicate where the gap should start by placing a horizontal pin. Prepare the straps by folding them in half and pinning them. Sew the strap starting at the left corner of the short edge and turning to the long edge of the strap, all the way to the end. Trim the excess fabric from the corners of the straps. This step helps reduce bulk and ensures crisp, clean corners when the strap is inverted. Grab a long stick to aid in turning the straps inside out and hold it in between your legs. I use a screwdriver. Hold one side of the fabric with one hand and the other side with your other hand, ensuring you have a good grip on both ends. Fold the fabrics over the stick and roll them downwards towards the bottom of the stick. Continue rolling until the other side of the strap peeks through, allowing you to turn the strap inside out effectively. Iron the straps flat. Iron the seam at the back of the shirt open. Put the unfinished edge of the strap underneath the folded over fabric with the strap facing away from the seam. Now fold the strap over the fabric to the other side and pin it. Repeat the same process on the other side of the shirt. Now stitch around the gap. Place the sleeve on the ironing board, ensuring that the wrong side of the fabric is facing upwards. Check on which side the notch is, in my case the left side. Fold the bottom of the sleeve up by 1 cm and press it with an iron to create a crisp fold. Fold the same edge over by another 1 cm, aligning it with the previous fold, and press it again with the iron to secure the fold. Repeat the same process for the other sleeve. This time the notch should be positioned on the other side, in my case the right side. Fold the bottom back open and put the two side seams on top of each other. The right sides of the fabric should be facing each other. Make sure the fold lines align. Stitch the side seams and finish them with an overlock stitch. Detach the removable arm of your sewing machine. Take the sleeve and fold the bottom edge back to align it with the existing fold lines on the sleeve. Slide the folded bottom of the sleeve around the arm of the sewing machine and stitch it all around the folded edge, using a seam allowance of 8 mm. Make use of a sewing magnet to assist you in maintaining a straight stitching line. Learn more about this in course 1. Turn the sleeve inside out. Insert the sleeve into the armhole, making sure the low notch is positioned at the front of the shirt. If the notch is not in the correct position, set aside the current sleeve and repeat the process with the other sleeve. Pin the sleeve to the armhole 
starting at the side seam of the shirt that should align with the side seam of the sleeve. Then make sure the top notch of the sleeve aligns with the shoulder seam of the shirt. Then work your way down again on both sides from the top to the side seam of the sleeve. Stitch along the pinned line, securing the sleeve to the armhole. Use an overlock stitch to finish the raw edge. Repeat the same process for the other sleeve. Finish the raw edge of the bottom of the shirt with an overlock stitch. Fold the bottom of the shirt over by 2 cm and press it with an iron. Once the hem is folded, stitch it all the way around, maintaining a seam allowance of 1.8 cm. Use a sewing magnet to assist you in sewing a straight line. 